Good evening. Tonight, I will be discussing the company Honorlock and its innovative technology, Integrity Analytics. I will be going over the context, technology, competitive environment, economics, and the organizational implementation of this innovative technology. The context in which Honorlock operates consists of the subject of academic dishonesty, especially in the digital age. These days, in academia, it is nearly impossible to do anything without there being some form of an online component. And with that comes the subject and challenge of stopping cheating. The company of Honorlock won the FAU Business Plan Competition in 2015 with CEO Adam Roth and President Elena Soboliva, who are pictured below. The two of them operate this startup company in Tech Runway right on the grounds of FAU. And their goal is to end academic dishonesty as we know it. Many of these other companies that are currently pictured on the slideshow also are attempting to stop academic dishonesty. Unfortunately, there is not much to differentiate between most of these companies. And so, Honorlock has developed a proprietary technology that has a solution to this dilemma. The overall technology that Honorlock employs is very modest. There are only about five employees in the company, only a handful of, of sets of hardware, but the software is propri proprietary technology developed by Honorlock themselves. The ace up their sleeve is referred to as Integrity Analytics, in which Honorlock has the ability and capabilities to monitor search engine results from smartphones and tablets that are being used during the exact same time as an examination. The technology that Honorlock employs is continually monitored and fixed for bugs and glitches through their total quality management system. Their technicians pride themselves on stopping glitches and bugs from becoming a major problem and getting them down to the source. Moving into the competitive environment of Honorlock, we look at two of their key competitors that are most similar to Honorlock. One is ProctorU, and the second is Software Secure. Most of the students in this course have probably used one of these softwares in taking an online examination here at Florida Atlantic University. The trading partners for Honorlock consist of the academic institutions in which they bid for contracts, the marketing organizations in which they employ to promote Honorlock as a whole, and the technology organizations that they use to get hardware and some softwares that are used for their products. The customers for Honorlock include the academic institutions from which they are bidding for contracts, and the ultimate end user of Honorlock services are the students. Because after all, the students will be the ones taking the online examinations and going through these proctoring services. As we see on this chart, Honorlock is employing a diversified strategy with Integrity Analytics because it is a new product in a new market. No company to this point in history has the ability to monitor secondary devices search engine results. And it is for this reason that the economic situation looks so positive. You see, Honorlock is employing a blue ocean strategy. The red ocean would be all of the competitors that we saw on a previous slide. But the blue ocean strategy represents the diversified approach to a new market with a new product. And this is why things look so good. As we look to some cash flow forecasts, the most likely scenario shows that if Honorlock is able to deploy integrity analytics by the end of this year, that in the next five years, even if one or maybe two of their most likely competitors are able to mimic their product, they are still able to be profitable in five years. In a best case scenario, none of their major competitors or any competitor at all is able to mimic, duplicate, or copycat integrity analytics, in which case Honorlock is able to capture most of the academic integrity competition within the southeastern United States and even the nation. In a worst case scenario, Integrity Analytics is able to be copied across the board, in which case most of their competitors will be able to employ a very similar technology and it will be difficult for Honorlock to expect very profitable results into the future. 
When we look into the organizational implementation of integrity analytics, it is going to be critical for Onlock to match the platform of integrity analytics with its existing software architecture. Now this shouldn't be too difficult since Onlock is currently creating all of its proprietary software technologies. It will also be critical for a total quality management to be continued to employ, but to be taken a step further. It is not only important for them to monitor their software, but also their personnel. For no technician, marketer, or finance employee should be able to become complacent at any time during the process of un unrolling and unveiling Integrity Analytics. Honorlock must also have a plan for its pricing, including a cost-benefit analysis, a keen monitoring of competition for their proprietary technologies, and it's critical for them to avoid discounting, especially initially, as they have a diversified strategy in which nobody else has this product on the market. Honorlock must also understand when to outsource. Currently being a small business, they do all of their work in-house. They have core competencies in the, in the area of technology, but they may need some assistance in the area of finance, marketing, and accounting which moves right into the conclusion and the recommendation. Currently, academic dishonesty as it relates to online exams is a large problem for academic institutions everywhere. The competitive environment is a red sea filled with competitors looking to differentiate themselves from one another. But when we look more specifically into it, basically only two companies exist that really rival Honorlock's capabilities. The technology that Honorlock currently has is modest, but it packs a large punch because they do not require massive mainframes to do what they are seeking to do. The technology they currently have can be ramped up in proportion to the demand that they, might, they may get from academic institutions, and it is very reasonable to assume that they can accommodate the influx of new demand. The organizational implementation will be key if the economics are to hold true for Honorlock with academic, academic integrity analytics. Excuse me. In a best case scenario, no competitors are able to match what Honorlock is able to do with integrity analytics. But in a most likely scenario, one of their competitors will be able to match them at some point, but the head start Honorlock is getting by unveiling Integrity Analytics by the end of this year should be enough to, to mainstay them ahead of their competition long enough to maintain that sustainable advantage. It is also important for Honorlock to employ total quality management within their software and they must also know when to outsource and when to do things in-house. My specific recommendations would be to outsource some sort of a financier or an accountant to manage their many contracts that they will be soon getting with these academic institutions, and to also outsource a marketing company to help them market their brand new product and service in this competitive environment. Through the innovation, innovative technology of Integrity Analytics, it is reasonable to assume that Honorlock could assume some sort of success in the near future. And you never know, one of us may wind up using Integrity Analytics from Autolock in our not-too-distant future in, at Florida Atlantic University.